Hi, I'm Mark Graham, engineering sales manager here at Gorilla Grills. Today I'm going to talk about the Gorilla Grills Chimp versus the Traeger Tailgater. So, starting off, the Traeger comes in at about $450 um, at retail. We've seen some cases if you have to give it shipped, there's some additional costs, but basically about $450. The Chimp comes in at $529. Um, that's delivered right to your door anywhere in the U.S. From the size standpoint, the Traeger has 300 square inches. The Chimp, it does come with an upper shelf that adds additional 120 for a total of 460. The hopper here, the Traeger comes with an eight pound hopper. The Chimp has a 15 pound hopper, almost twice the size hopper. All right, as far as assembly of these two grills, the Traeger, they actually take the hopper off and put it inside the grill. So you actually have to install the hopper, um, build the legs. And that took me about 30 minutes, uh, quite a bit more hardware. Not terribly hard, but again, it took me about 30 minutes to put that together. The chimp took me about 15 minutes. Um, there's basically just three handles you gotta put on and you're ready to go. The other thing I noticed right away when I start putting these together is the weight. Uh, the Traeger comes in at about 62 pounds and the chimp comes in at around 90 pounds. So from a height standpoint, you're at about 28 versus 31. So you got about three inches of more height here, which may not be a big deal to most people, but I just wanted to make sure I pointed all those things out. On the exterior, Traeger uses plastic handles. The Chimp, we use stainless steel handles on all three. As far as the construction of the, the grill itself, they use a, a, around an 18, 16, 18 gauge uh, lid, where we use a 14 gauge stainless steel reinforced lid on the Chimp here. The bodies, um, they feel pretty similar. With the powder coat, it's a little hard to measure and I wanted to be fair, so it's a little bit hard to tell the difference, but they're really similar as far as the construction. However, with the Chimp uh, and like the rest of the Gorilla Grills, Pellet Grills, it's dual wall constructed from the grates down, uh, and that's been playing fabulous in the cold weather across all of our grills. The performance is not inhibited by the cold weather at all. So next, let's talk about the internals. They use steel grates that are porcelain coated with a steel drip pan and a steel heat shield and burn pot. Whereas with the Chimp here, we use stainless steel cooking grates, 14 gauge stainless steel drip pan, 14 gauge stainless steel heat shield and burn pot. So those components uh, should last the life of your grill without any issues at all. The Traeger burn pot is actually offset. They actually have the burn pot right about here and the reason they do that, they can keep this shorter, and for shipping reasons, the hopper is actually inside of the grill, and you'll find that out when you go to put this together. The chimp, and it's actually centered in the grill. That helps keep the heat even throughout the grill, which is very important for your cook. And as I, as I mentioned, it has a uh, double wall insulation inside. Um, as far as some of the design aspects, we've also spent a lot of time, because we know this thing is gonna be bouncing around the back of your truck and RV. We actually added a latch so your hot pellets don't dump over. In the design, internally, we actually put some little lips in the back that keep the grates from popping up and added this on here as well. That actually sits on the front of the grates. So when the lid is closed, the lower grate's not gonna bounce around. And the lower grate actually has little ears on it that hold the drip pan in place and not to mention the heat shield has locking position as well. So everything inside is held nice and tight. You don't have to worry about everything falling all over the place as you're traveling to down the road, down the highway. Probably the biggest thing for me, honestly, probably because I spent the most time on it, is the legs. You'll see in the videos here shortly, folding these legs, uh, we spent a lot of time. We wanted something that was super stable, but easy to use for one person. A lot of the pellet grills are straight up and down and they have different locking mechanism that make them a little wobbly. The Traeger, although when it's up, is nice and sturdy. Honestly, the legs are pretty challenging to fold up with one person. They are very difficult to do by yourself. You gotta basically loosen two screws and take one of these off for each leg just to fold that leg up. It's just very challenging to put down. With ours, it's a simple push of a button and you pop your leg up. You do that four times and you're ready to go. And we actually designed the legs, much like a sawhorse, so they have a, basically a 10 degree stance. Makes the thing very stable when you're out there, so that has been one of the things that we're most proud of from this grill. 
One of the other details we wanted to make sure we covered is we actually put leveling pads. So when your legs are folded up and this is sitting on your table or tailgate, you're actually sitting on some nice leveling pads. One of the other things we thought about was the venting of these grills. The Traeger uses two slots in the back and one of the issues that we did not care for is the fact that rain, uh, dust, anything could get down in these things vertically. With the Chimp, we actually put the vents in the side so basically no water or any debris can get in here. Um, actually, it allows the smoke and heat to go all the way across the food before it exits instead of coming up around the back and exiting right away. So again, one of those nice features that should make this thing perform better and not worry about getting rain on your food. So with that being said, the, the last and final, the brains behind these, the Traeger uses their standard dial controller. It gives you roughly a 25 degree increment selection. And with the chimp here, this actually comes with our Alpha Smoke Control Board. If you check out our website or YouTube channel, you'll find more information on it. But this is a dual mode controller. You can run it in PID, which is a very precise control, or you can run it in our standard mode, which will give you a little bit more swing, a little more smoke flavor in our opinion. Uh, but it's a fabulous controller and actually comes with a meat probe as well that you can run through the side and plug right into your food and simply press the probe button to see what, what the temperature of your food is. All right, so hopefully this information helped you in uh, making a decision of which one's right for you. I know you've probably done a ton of research and try to figure out which one's right, which one has the best review. So again, this is why we try to take the time to do these videos. If you've got any other questions I did not answer, feel free to give us a call here. We're here Monday through Friday. And of course, check out our website at gorillagrills.com. And these guys always do this to me. But again, you can just give us a call or um, I gotta get my grill back. Talk to you guys soon.